Hey Zdravo, I'm back from Paris, I left my voice there. You know, you have um, two kinds of photographers, let's say. One are obsessed with uh, cameras and lenses, uh, gear-driven photographers. And then you have a second uh, branch which are more academic, so basically they love history of photography, they love uh, books, they love the knowledge um, and that overview of what is going on. And both of those obsessions are very costly. And I must confess, I'm both. Okay, the first two items that I bought is... Um, this is like a proper video, a video tripod with a fluid head. So I can make panning like without shaking. The second one is this uh, rail for camera. I think it will be nice to play around. Uh, but I also bought some books. Guys, what do you think? Aren't they amazing, beautiful objects of art? I love photo books because they are mm, they're really like an object. But for now, I want to talk about this book. Book is called H, um, done by Gregory Dargent. The author is a photographer and jazz musician. He comes from a family of mm, soldiers, basically. Uh, his father, his uncle, and I don't know, others are, were in the military personnel. So uh, what he did, he went, he traveled to Algiers, where his father was serving uh, in, in, in 50s, 60s, or I don't know when exactly. But he went to the, um, so in 60s, uh, France uh, made a nuclear bomb test, uh, testings. Um, they detonated 17 nuclear bombs uh, in, a, in a desert of Algeria. So he went to those regions and, you know, photographed. So basically, I love this book because it's actually, as he put it in his email, is that he was trying to find um, ground zero, but was also dealing with his own identity of, um, of his history. Uh, French, uh, I mean France, as a, as uh, in their involvement in a, in a, in a, in Algeria and their history. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mentioned that he is also a jazz musician. All the music in this vlog is done by him. So thank you, Gregory.
Okay, guys, what do you think? What do you think about this book? And what do you think about photographs? Because, you know, photographs is one thing, the book is the other thing. And the third thing is a concept, you know, like the message that it wants to convey. And um, I think the book as an a, as a, as a object is great. I think it's really, really beautifully made. I love the, um, how it feels in hand. I love how the paper, the paper is, which one is exactly? Arctic volume ivory, 150 grams. It looks really nice. And it's, um, it's an offset print, of course. Um, anyway, the book is an object. I love it. It's really great. It's really well printed, well designed, um, typographically perfect. You know, everything is really, really nice. It feels good, smells good, looks good. It's a really good book. Uh, photographs. I love photographs. I love, you know, of course, you know, <laughs> how can I not love the, this over-exaggerated film? Um, I mean, grain, uh, the grain in the film is really, really good. And also the aesthetic, I really like it too. I love this deep blacks. This, oh, by the way, this is my favorite photo. I really love this photo. So, um, but I have one little problem with this book and this is, uh, the concept, the message of it, I think it's, um, let me try to sum up uh, in, uh, as I understand it. And I'm working on this book for, I mean, for this vlog for four days already. <laughs> so actually I read a lot about it. So the author is a, is a French and his um, family is also um, French <laughs> and uh, the, his family background is basically comes from a military background and uh, French government conducted a series of nuclear tests in Algerian desert um, and the author is traveling from from France to Algeria through those nuclear sites nuclear testing sites um, trying to find um, ground zero of uh, nuclear tests but also reviewing his own personal nuclear zero, uh, ground zero, his family. <laughs> do you see, do you see, I can't, it's kind of, um, it lost me, <laughs> you know, I cannot not even repeat. It's very, very, like, it's a huge concept. Age bomb, French government, military government, uh, being involved in, uh, in, in Algeria, like a big, historical thing, um, environmental thing, uh, plus, you know, his personal family background. It's a lot, it's a lot of things to digest. And I think uh, this vehicle photography has a limited needs. And I must say, me as a viewer, I kind of lost it a little bit. You know, I kind of, uh, I love the photographs. And this is kind of what I love. I love the photographs, the editing, I would say that this images, this book contains like three books, stylistically looking. I think stylistically could be put like make a selection and make like a different di two other books, you know, one devoted more for landscape. You know, it's it's um, of course this um, this effect, this effect of film and a super big grain is uh, unifying, it's, it's, it, it works well because it's unifying all these motives and all these uh, scenes, you know. We have it from um, private scenes of a bathroom to a street photography, to a landscape photography, to uh, portraits um, and so on, you know. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, if you don't know what I mean, I have one anecdote to share. It's a life-changing anecdote for me. When I was in Prague, I was uh, studying photography at uh, FAMU, that's uh, Academy for Film and uh, Photography. And my, um, my colleague, he was studying film and he was in some informal meeting. I mean, I don't know where we were, in the exhibition or in a, in a pub, I'm not sure. He was in his full emotions he was explaining his professor or was a colleague uh, director i'm not sure like an elderly colleague somebody who, like senior with a my friend who was young 
student, like filmmaker. And he was talking about this feature film that he will make as a final product of his uh, studies, five year studies, you know. And uh, he was talking such a great energy and explaining this idea, that concept, this idea, da, da, da. and you know, the guy, the, the guy just stopped him and said, look, stop there. Here's my visit card. In the back of the visit card is a blank space. Write your concept, write your uh, syn synopsis right now here on the table. And he looked at him, what do you mean? You know, it's like a big feature film, you know, how can I write it down? Well, you know, if, if you know what you're trying to say, you will fit it in one visit card. If, you, if it doesn't fit <laughs> on, on the visit card, then go back and think again. Try to crystallize, try to make it more into the essence, you know, try to find the essence what you're trying to say. And that, for me, this anecdote actually changed the way I'm looking at things, you know. Can I say something simpler? Can I say something clearer? Can I, can I chop something out? Is, is this what I'm trying to say really crucial for the whole story, you know, like this is, this is um, how I'm looking how it changed my, my, my way of looking at art, uh, looking, especially our photo books, because for me, a photo book is like a, like a movie, like a movie, you know, like you're, it has a, has a chronological order, it has a um, rhythm, you know. Last but not least, uh, let, me share, let me say that this uh, book was published by Saturn Editions. It's a young publishing house. This is, I think it's the second book that they published in their publishing catalog. And um, I think they're really good. Um, they know what they're doing. They made really beautiful book. Um, and um, yeah, and I think it's a good, good idea to go there and support them and buy this book. Um, it's around 35 euros, I think. Good. Um, I think that's all I, ha I have to say. I hope... <coughs> no, no, sorry, I cannot finish yet. Um, uh, before saying that my second edition on Father's Tale, the book uh, Father's Tale is being published. Here I have 500 copies of uh, the second edition book. If you want to support this channel, you know, this is a way, great way to, to support it by buying my book or become my Patreon. I have 96 Patreons and uh, for each vlog I am randomly picking one and uh, giving him or her an, a book or uh, on top of every all the rewards that I'm giving uh, away. Uh, so I think, uh, uh, yeah, for this month I picked Espen Skarup. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, so congratulations to that and uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's a top sheet vlog, you know, like a photo book reaction. And please check other, other vlogs of mine, you know, uh, the last 10 seconds I will leave some links. Thank you for watching.